Hello and welcome back to Chris's Beer Reviews. Hope you're all having a fantastic weekend and it's a bank holiday weekend. Uh, the weather today has been really, really good. Just so a thoroughly, a thoroughly enjoyable day. So it's time for a beer review and it's another side-by-side -side review. And in today's video, we're looking at these two beers. And um, we're doing a Pilsner, a Pilsner battle. Uh, it's a bit of a UK versus Germany Pilsner battle and they're both in 330 mil cans. So what we're looking at is the Berliner Pilsner. There it is in the glass, in the glass, in the can. The Berliner Pilsner, 330 mil can. This one comes in at 5% ABV. Uh, no idea how much this one costs. My mouth is so dry. I've had Chinese takeaway for dinner tonight and boy has it dried my mouth out. So I can't wait to get into these. But anyway, Berliner Pilsner. Uh, no idea how much it costs because I didn't pay for this. This was sent to me from Barry from All The Beer No Idea. Now, I'm sure you've come across uh, All The Beer No Idea channel. If you've come across mine, you must come across Barry's because he's so much bigger than I am. So yeah, he sent me this and he sent me this because I sent him a Reaper curry pack that I did a live with him on his channel. We did the Reaper curry pack from Spice and Easy Live. So I paid for that, sent him that, and he sent me a couple of beers, and this was one of them. The Berliner Pilsner, so this is brewed in Germany. So we've got that one, and then we've got one from uh, a Pilsner from Lord's Brewing, Lord's Brewing Co., and it's called the Drunken Tailor, and again, it comes in at 4.9% ABV, so that one's 5%, this one's 4.9%, again, a 330ml can, there it is, the Drunken Tailor. I'm kind of reaching today, I've set my camera up way back further than I normally do. So there's the Lord's Brewing Drunken Tailor of its funky artwork. Uh, reviewed plenty of stuff from Lord's Brewing. So yeah, we've got a bit of a UK versus Germany Pilsner battle, 330 mil cans, both in the 5% region. So let's crack on, because my mouth is so dry. Really is dry. Why do Chinese, some Chinese takeaways really do that, don't they? Full of salt, really dry your mouth out. So let's crack open the Berliner Pilsner. And what a glorious day it's been weather-wise, isn't it, today? Certainly has down my way. Lovely and hot. So in goes the Berliner Pilsner. This is the wrong glass. I wasn't supposed to put it in this glass. This was the glass <laughs> I had the can on. It was supposed to be in there. Oh well, it's all going a bit wrong. So let's flick that one upside down. Put that on there. Uh, so yeah, completely the wrong glass. So there's the Berliner Pilsner, looking very light in colour. Lots of carbonation going on in there, very light straw colour, but boy is that carbonation fierce. That's really fierce. Nice little one finger head on there. Let's pop that one there. It's all gone wrong. <laughs> Let's get the Lord's Brewing one out then. And uh, well, we sod it, we might as well turn that one upside down as well then. And we'll put the Lord's Brewing in one of these glasses as well. Who cares? Let's get that in. I just need to get one of these in my mouth. <laughs> my mouth is so dry. And it goes. Slightly darker. Slightly darker. Spilling it on my hands. There we go. I hope you can see those both. I'm sure you can. So there's the Lord's Brewing. Uh, is it slightly darker? I'm not sure it is. I think it's slightly lighter. Let's get the Berliner Pilsner up next to it. Yeah, it is dark. It's only slightly darker. Dark's not even the right word, really. They're both quite light in colour. The Berliner Pilsner is definitely more straw coloured with proper ferocious carbonation going on in there. The Lord's Brewing is nowhere near as busy on the carbonation, but has a slightly more golden colour to it. Not really hanging on to its head. Its head's gone compared to the Berliner Pilsner. So let's pop that one over there. Let's start with the Berliner Pilsner. Let's see how this one sniffs, shall we? Very malty. Slight sweet, slight malty, uh, slightly zesty. Let's see how this one tastes then. Cheers. Quite crisp, 
very crisp, but very refreshing, especially when I keep going on about how dry my mouth is. That's delightful on my mouth, but get rid of that dryness. Nice and refreshing. A little bit underwhelming flavor wise. It's definitely malty. Um, sweet malts going on, but not overly sweet is crisp, is refreshing, slightly zesty, but it feels a bit thin. It does feel a bit thin for a 5%. So let's see how the Lord's Brewing Drunken Taylor, or Sailor, I've forgotten. Taylor, Drunken Taylor. <laughs> let's see how that one goes. <coughs> Pardon me. Not too dissimilar, actually. More of a bitter, a bit of finish to it. Again, it's crisp. Um, again, it's refreshing. Slightly more on the zesty sort of flavors, sort of lemon zesty. Uh, a little bit more florally, if that's the right word, florally. I didn't do the aroma test either, did I? Just got stuck in with drinking it. It feels like it's got a better, a better all round kind of body to it and better taste to it. Definitely got more bitterness than the, what's this one called? What's it called? Blinner, the Blinner pills. And let's go with the Blinner again. Yeah, that's not as good. The blender is not as good, and that's from Germany. You'd expect it to be good. A bit watery, actually, compared to Lord's Brewing Drunken Taylor. Yeah, that's better. It's got a much better finish to it. Nice bitter finish to it. It's got the lemon zest to it. It's got a bit of a floral element to it, almost aromatic. And that's what I think lets that one down. The Berliner Pilsner just doesn't have that sort of aromatic, florally, bitter finish. Whereas the Lord's Brewing does. It's still good. It's still pleasant. It's still drinkable. And I'm not being biased because I do like Lord's Brewing beers. And it's English, so I'm not being biased. It is just better. Yeah, it's just got a much better finish to it. The Berliner Pilsner just doesn't... Oh, what's the right word I'm looking for? It just doesn't kind of finish, which makes no sense, does it? It's just... You swallow it, it's gone, you drink more. Whereas with the Lord's Brewing Drunken Taylor Pilsner, when you, once you've swallowed it, you've got that finish, you've got that kind of bitter finish, nice sort of bitter finish with the, a bit of floral aromatic type finish to it, uh, which is nice, that's what I like. I like it when you've still got some sort of flavor in your mouth once it's, it's gone down. The Blinner Pilsner just doesn't do that. But they're still, it's still a good Pilsner still enjoyable just not as good as the lord's brewing so there you go bit of a wonky review the glasses were wrong i didn't do an aroma <laughs> an aroma i didn't sniff the aroma of the uh, lord's brewing but there you go it's one of those things and that we just keep rolling we get on with it anyway i hope you've had a good day i'll see you on the next one take care bye now